Here now at the Fremont County Fair, a reminder that all fair coverage on KMA is brought to you by Western Iowa Mutual Insurance. And talking with Claire now at the county fair. And Claire, uh, what kind of things you got going on this week? Um, nothing much really besides fair, rabbits, all types of fair things and everything like that. So you talked about your rabbits. What other? Do you have any other kind of exhibits going on here this week? Well, the th- my other two projects are up at some other building, which is a painting and tie-dye shirt. What's the painting of? It's like a pour painting where you pour paint on it. Yeah. So what's kind of the process of making a tie-dye shirt? Because that sounds really cool. Yeah. So you do like whatever the instructions say on your shirt, you band it up, whatever design you're doing, and then you shake up the bottles of the dye or whatever and fill it up with water, and then you pour the dye in the shirt, and then you let it dry for 24 hours or 48 hours, which on your preference. And then you rinse all the color out in the sink, and then you put it in the washer. That's very cool. And with it kind of being an odd county fair, what are some things you look forward to maybe this year that might be a little bit different than years in the past? Probably the rabbit show again, just because it's fun to do. So how do you even show a rabbit? What's that process kind of like? Well, you obviously go up to the table for showmanship. You walk the rabbit up. You flip the rabbit over, and you look for the eyes, nose, teeth, paws or whatever they're called and then you like do this to the rabbit to check for straightness and like how it bends and everything and for the color obviously and then you do that to the private part to check to make sure like, there's no infections and to see if it's a doe or a buck in the tail but, yeah. and when is that taking place um saturday i believe yeah what other events are you kind of looking forward to in this year's fair um well there's nothing really else that I'm doing in fair this year besides that and the projects but do you have a lot of friends that you are looking forward to seeing maybe this week a little bit mm, yeah well, I've seen them basically all week because of weights the thing that we're doing at school so yeah very good thank you Claire yep Talking now with Ryan here at the Fremont County Fair, and a reminder, all fair coverage brought to you by Western Iowa Mutual Insurance, and Ryan, how are you liking the fair so far? Pretty good. What kind of uh, events or activities do you have going on this week? Well, basically the same thing as my sister, is because like, we do the rabbit show, we did our projects, and yesterday we did our table setting. Yeah, that's it. What's your table setting this year? Well, I did an Avengers theme. So, don't you have to create some sort of a menu for your table scene as, as well? Yes. So, what's on your menu? Um, Hawkeye's Hot Wings, Flat Iron Man Steak, Hulk Smashed Potatoes and Gravy, and Black Widow Beans, and Bla- Captain America has Apple Pie, and Black Panther Brownies, and then Loki Lemonade. Out of all of those different kind of food items, what would be your favorite? Hulk smashed potatoes and gravy. That sounds incredible to me. So where do you find the also like some of the plate settings and cups? Where do you find some of those items? Well, Amazon, Party City and stuff and the plates and I think Civil War we already had at home. And when is that event being judged? Um, um so well, I actually do not know. Okay. And what's your rabbit's name? You said you had a rabbit, right? Yes, his name is Gus. His name is Gus? Why Gus? I don't know. Like when we picked him up, me and Will just thought of the gu- a Gus. <laughs> That's awesome. So what do you, what's your favorite part about the fair? Well, we get to see a bunch of our friends. We get us get to do some fun stuff. And we just get to do a bunch of activities in the summer instead of just sitting on our butts. <laughs> Thanks, Ryan. Welcome. Talking now with Wyatt here at the Fremont County Fair, brought to you by Iowa Western Mutual Insurance. And Wyatt, how's the fair going so far? Pretty good. Just doing my stuff. What's your favorite part about the fair? Um, working with friends. And what kind of events and activities do you have going on this week? Um, well, I already did photography and working exhibit with my friend. You said woodworking, correct? No, oh. exhibit. What's that, what's that about? Um, well, you, like, find something, and you create it, and then you show it in front of a judge, and you have, like, a poster board. And, and you said you did photography, too, right? What did you take pictures of this year? Um, well, 
I went to my cousins and they live kind of by a lake and there was a windmill so we took a p two pictures of the windmill and then we also went to Ash Hollow and took pictures of nature there. And what are some of the difficulties when taking f pictures in odd kind of conditions? Well, it's hard because you just got to wait and just like find the right thing to take pictures of. Right, and so what's your favorite part about the fair? Um, probably just friends and seeing all the cool stuff here. What's some of the cool stuff that you've seen? Like woodworking and like junk in a bucket stuff. Explain junk in a bucket. What's that? Well, it's like you get a lot of things in a bucket and then you have to create something. My brother did it like, I don't know, two years ago. And he made like a wasp and it was pretty cool. That's really cool. Would that be something you might be interested in in the future of trying? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. So where did you get your camera? Is it your camera? No, it's my mom's, but she's, she's looking and buying me one. That's awesome. Thanks, man. I really appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Talking now with County Youth Coordinator Logan Doty at the Fremont County Fair, br brought to you by uh, Western Iowa Mutual Insurance. And Logan, it's been kind of an odd year, and so what have been some of the changes due to COVID this year? Yes, odd to say the least. Um, the Fremont County Fair has been changed a little bit due to COVID-19. Um, the Fair Board has had to change some things to the schedule, alter how we do the livestock shows, and also change how they... Um, judge the 4-H events so you know we had to cancel our public events and none of the shows are open to the public unfortunately um, but we do have good news we do we are live streaming our shows the horse shows going on right now but um, yes we are live streaming those shows and you can find that information on our Facebook page and that is Fremont County 4-H Iowa very good and talk about how are some of the static exhibits being shown this year because that could be a little difficult yes so that is a lot different this year so we actually had 50 kids drop off 250 static exhibits which we were pretty excited about it is a little down compared to last year's um, but usually the kids get to do conference judging which means they get to come in talk to a judge face to face and do that kind of thing but they couldn't do that this year unfortunately so static exhibits refer to exhibits that are non-animal um, so they did a write-up and they went ahead and dropped off those exhibits exhibits a few days ago they've sat for a few days and then we've got judges coming in later this week to judge those exhibits so they'll still get considered for a state fair and move on if they're you know worthy and that kind of thing so did the uh so i've heard a lot about this say it strut it uh event is that yes. still going on this year <laughs> yep so we did our say it said it strut it event and we had 18 kids participate in that so um, we have the say it portion is the communications. So that's when they get to do educational presentations, extemporaneous speaking. And this year we had to throw working exhibits into the mix. Um, working exhibits is when the kids get to do a hands-on activity. And they usually get to do that with the little kids on the Sunday, fun day, you know, children's day. But we couldn't do that this year. Um, so then the set it refers to the table setting. Um, and then strut it is the clothing clothing event projects which is $15 challenge um, clothing selection and fashion review very good and so then the livestock show that can be kind of difficult to organize so how's that gonna work this year yep so the livestock portion of the Fremont County Fair is a big deal you know it's one of the biggest components of the Fremont County Fair um, so the fair board decided to do a show-and-go format which basically means the animals just aren't gonna spend as much time on the fairgrounds as usual um, they're gonna show up you know um, blow out spot clean if they need to and then just go into the arena and then they'll go home that day so show and go is just basically <laughs> what it means but um, we have I think it's 68 yes 68 kids bringing livestock this year so we're pretty excited about that that's that's pretty good compared to the last 
to past years. So. Yeah. And again, all this can be found on live streamed on Facebook. Yes, all those shows are live streamed on Facebook because once again they are close to the public, and you can find that at Fremont County 4-H Iowa on Facebook, and you can also find results for static exhibits. Say it, said it, strut it, all those things, and we'll have pictures of the kids' projects and pictures of the kids. You can see all that good stuff since you can't come to see it this year. So that's on our Facebook page. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you.